Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. As you see, the guys from Zombie Squad sent me a baseball cap. Well, it's actually more like a fighting cap, I think. And also this great t-shirt. I love the motto on the back. Anyway, it's a little hot for a cap today, but I love it. Cool design. <laughs> and I recommend joining the Zombie Forum. You can see the link in the text description. 20 millimeter steel boards, 10 of it. How to shoot them without the sabot. So many people wanted to see it. Well, the only way how that worked is to stop the sabot with rubber. Once it's accelerated with rubber, it can only be stopped with rubber. Everything else simply destroys the sabot. So, I made this, which is a little thing that you put in front of the muzzle. And what happens is that it stops the sabot with very strong rubber bands. And um, this is attached to the muzzle uh, with rubber bands as well. So first we put the wadding on top of the balls so that they don't fall out easily. So then we put the sabot inside. And now we take the plate and put the rubber band over it, like this, and on the other side. So as you can see, the sabot was stopped halfway through the front plate. Just what we wanted. And now I can load it again and shoot again. Just squeeze it back through. It's very quick to remove the muzzle adapter. Just like this. Done. So now the 60 mm steel ball. Let's shoot it from the blunderbuss. And um, this weighs about as much as um, two hand grenades. So it's about one kilogram together with the sabot. And we have to use this wooden little block as a sabot simply because this is too slippery and um, the string, the paracord, would sli simply slip over it instead of accelerating it cleanly. Okay, so we put the sabot in first and then we put the ball in. <laughs> and now let's shoot. <laughs> So now I want to show you a new slingshot that I made. My wife called this uh, the snail shell because it obviously looks a little bit like it. Well, it's actually made from multiplex wood. And um, what it is, it's, uh, it's a uh, Moore hammer design slingshot because it's just fully protected. So I can squeeze in my hand. Now it fits very snugly and it's completely protected against band slaps, against hand hits, just everything. shoots real good and the big advantage is that you can now shoot very light ammo with real strong brands like this 10 millimeter steel ball this was would normally give me a terrible hand slap would be very painful but not now it also looks a little bit like pottery, or maybe like a sculpture. I really like it. It's covered with boat um, polyurethane varnish, so it's watertight. It doesn't really limit the move movement of my hand at all, and it's of course completely odd looking. <laughs> I like it. It was a lot of work because it's made from eight layers of plywood. More like a sculpted slingshot. So, that was it for today. I hope you liked it. Thanks and bye-bye. <laughs>